In the beginning, there was nothing. There was no matter, no energy, no space, and no time. It was a void, an emptiness that was absolute and complete. But from this nothingness, something extraordinary emerged. The universe was born, and it came into existence from nothing. The origin of the universe has been a topic of intense study and speculation for centuries. But with the advent of modern cosmology, scientists have made incredible strides in understanding how the universe came to be. Through observations and experiments, they have pieced together a story of cosmic evolution that began with a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, and expanded rapidly in a process called the Big Bang. But the question remains, where did the singularity come from? How did the universe emerge from nothing? Some philosophers and theologians have argued that the existence of the universe demands the existence of a creator, a divine being who brought it into existence. But modern cosmology provides a different explanation. According to the most widely accepted theories, the universe came from nothing through a process called quantum fluctuation. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that governs the behavior of subatomic particles, and it has revealed a strange and fascinating world that defies our everyday experience. One of the most surprising results of quantum mechanics is the existence of virtual particles, particles that pop in and out of existence in empty space. These particles arise from the uncertainty inherent in the quantum world, and they have been observed and studied in numerous experiments. But in the extreme conditions of the early universe, virtual particles could become real particles through a process called pair production. As the universe rapidly expanded, the energy density decreased, and the conditions became favorable for this process to occur. In this way, the universe could have arisen from nothing through a quantum fluctuation, with particles and antiparticles appearing and annihilating each other, leaving behind a residue of matter and radiation. This idea is supported by mathematical models and experimental evidence, and it has become a central pillar of modern cosmology. It suggests that the universe is not a product of design or intention, but rather a natural consequence of the laws of physics. But even as we gain a deeper understanding of the universe's origins, there is still much that remains unknown. We do not yet know why the universe began in a state of such incredible symmetry, or why it appears to be finely tuned for the emergence of life. We do not know if our universe is the only one, or if there are others beyond our reach. And yet, even in the face of these mysteries, we can marvel at the wonder of existence. We can contemplate the fact that we are made of stardust, the remnants of the same cosmic explosion that brought the universe into being. We can appreciate the beauty and complexity of the world around us, knowing that it emerged from nothing but the laws of nature. In the end, the story of the universe coming from nothing is not just a scientific explanation, but a reminder of the awe-inspiring mystery at the heart of existence. We may never fully understand the universe's origins, but we can continue to explore, to wonder, and to appreciate the incredible fact that we exist at all. As we ponder the origins of the universe and the idea that it arose from nothing, we must also confront the limitations of our understanding. We are bound by the laws of physics and the constraints of our human minds, and there may be aspects of the universe that lie beyond our comprehension. But even in the face of this uncertainty, we can find comfort in the fact that the universe is governed by consistent and predictable laws. These laws allow us to study and understand the universe, to make predictions, and test them through experiments, and to marvel at the intricate beauty of the cosmos. Moreover, the story of the universe's origins challenges us to re-examine our assumptions about the nature of reality. It suggests that the universe is not necessarily the result of some predetermined plan or purpose, but rather a product of chance and necessity. This realization can be both liberating and humbling. It frees us from the notion 
that we are the center of the universe, and that the universe exists solely for our benefit. It reminds us that we are but a small part of a larger whole, and that our existence is intimately connected to the fate of the universe itself. And yet, even as we acknowledge our place in the vast cosmic web, we can take comfort in the fact that we are endowed with the ability to observe, to reason, and to create. We can use our intellect and ingenuity to explore the universe, to ask the big questions, and to discover new truths about the world around us. In this way, the story of the universe coming from nothing is not just a scientific idea, but a call to action. It challenges us to embrace curiosity, to seek knowledge, and to appreciate the wonder of existence. It reminds us that, in the face of the unknown, we can always strive to learn more, to do more, and to be more. So let us marvel at the universe that arose from nothing, and let us use our curiosity and creativity to unlock its secrets. For in the mystery of existence lies the possibility of discovery, of growth, and of infinite potential.